Hi everyone, Colleen here from Ultimate Backyard. Today we're diving into a common gardening question. While Epsom salt is thought to boost plant health by correcting magnesium deficiencies, it's definitely not great for every plant out there. Stick around to find out which plants you should avoid using it on. We're not so keen on Epsom salts in general. It's much better to use slow release fertilizer twice a year and add it to the soil. This way your plants get nutrients in smaller doses, preventing fertilizer burn. And if you're using a premium potting mix, it likely has all the minerals your indoor plants need. I'll touch on this more later in the video, but first let's run through some plants that you really should avoid using Epsom salts on. Let's start with tropical palms and some other tropical plants like fiddle leaf figs, monstera and philodendron. It's a common practice to mix Epsom salt with water and spray it on plants. However, this can harm plants with large leaves by causing leaf scorch. Now let's talk about conifers. These types of trees are sensitive to magnesium chloride, a compound found in Epsom salt. So if you have conifers in your garden, it's best to steer clear of Epsom salt. Next up, we have insect eating plants like Venus flytraps, pitcher plants and sundews. These unique plants don't like Epsom salt either and using it can be fatal for them. This next one is important for anyone who likes to grow Australian native plants. While Epsom salt won't generally harm Australian natives, there's no real need to use it. If the soil's pH level is above 5.5, there should be enough magnesium available for the plants to absorb through their roots. Therefore, we recommend steering clear. Now, you might wonder why we don't seem so keen on using Epsom salts in the garden. While many gardeners swear by its benefits, we prefer a more sustainable gardening method. We use compost, well-rotted animal manures and organic fertilizers like Dynamic Lifter or Blood and Bone. Most plants need healthy soil to thrive and getting the nutrient levels balanced is key. Avoiding single nutrient products helps maintain the overall health of the soil. Creating healthy soil should start with improving its pH level. Highly acidic soils might lack magnesium and calcium. To increase the soil's pH naturally, use poultry manure or you could opt for agricultural lime or dolomite. For alkaline soils, improve them by adding plenty of compost and animal manure, like cow or horse manure. So, what do you think? Are there any plants in your garden you'll stop using Epsom salt on? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gardening tips from Ultimate Backyard.